Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to be making, changing the block outline color. It's not really a hack, but it'll make your hacking client look very cool. So currently, let's just wait for this to load. Um, well, what it, we're going to make the color is we're going to change the color to make it um, kind of a teal color, turquoise. Okay. Let me show you the color currently. Okay, turn the full right on. Okay, so you see the black block outline? I made the outline thicker so you can see it better. But yeah. Okay, so if we close out of this, then what you want to what you want to do is you want to go to render global dot Java and scroll down till you find a uh, public void draw section box and some other stuff. What you're wa gonna want to do is you find the color part and you change three of them to one. These three and and then you make this zero so all of them are 1.0 except this one and then what you're gonna do is well that's it and then this is the width the default is 2.0 as you can see on your screen but let's change it to 5 so let's try 4 Now let's see how it looks. Oh, didn't load. There. Loading. Let's go to hacks test. Okay, so you see the block outline is now a turquoise color. Do we turn on reach? Oh, that's not reach. This is reach. You see all the blocks are outlined. Way down there you can kind of see it. And let's see how long we've been recording. Um, oh, lots of time. Okay, so, yeah, and if you wanted to, I don't know why you would do this, but if you wanted to toggle the color, if you wanted it to be black on default and then turn that teal color, if you press a toggle button, let's make this two, I kind of like two, and you would have to, uh, one second. Okay, I figured it out. So what you wanna what you wanna do is you wanna go to variables, go to public, public static, static boolean. Let's call it block outline and equals false. Okay, so then well let's go to GUI in game. And um, let's create oops uh, one more there. Okay, so if check key key Board dot key and let's use T. Okay, if keyboard and then var variables dot block 
out y equals variables exclamation mark variables dot block out line semicolon. Okay, so that's got the toggle. Now we need to. I might already. Okay. So I'll just retype this in. Actually, you don't need me to do that. I'll just put um, a paste bin link in the description. So yeah, just paste that in. And then you're going to go to render global. And we're here again. So then create, say, if variables dot um, lock outline. So that's if variables dot lock outline is on, and that will be there. And then we need to create an else statement and copy this and paste and now we just change this to zero 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 point four that's black and save it oh, I don't know why, but it always wants me to do things with that. I think it's just the spacing of the squiggly brackets. Okay. Logging into Minecraft. Nope, not servers. <coughs> okay. So now if we press... It's weird. Gray. Um, oh, did I go too far? Yeah, go too far. Um, almost there. Oh, that's why I'm in GUI and game. That might make a difference. Why don't you want to work? Uh, one second, guys. Okay, well, this should be working. Let me try running it one more time. Zero point four is the default. Oh well, you guys can figure out where I went wrong. If I went wrong, or maybe that is the. I don't know. 